going on? All right, first and foremost, let's talk about what this is. I had a Malcolm hair in my mouth. Let's talk about what this is. Number one, I look like shit. <laughs> Number two, I just woke up. Um, I've been kind of thinking of vlogging for a while. Um, part of the reason why I've never really vlogged a whole lot is, you know, a lot of stuff happening in my life and um, not really having the, I don't want to say means to, because I've always had cameras and stuff, but I've never really had a, like a camera that I thought was easy to vlog with, um, something that's like small, lightweight and all that, and Malcolm's little legs are right there, you can kind of see him. Part of the reason why I'm, you know, vlogging now uh, is because I did pick up this camera, the Canon uh, Vixia Mini X, which is what I'm using right now. It kind of looks like a tricorder from uh, Star Trek, and that's part of the reason why I like it. Plus the audio is really good. Malcolm, could you be quiet? The mic picks you up when you do that. So yeah, what am I doing here? Um, I've wanted to do some vlogging after watching some other friends vlog and stuff like that, and... Uh, by the way, I did realize over the years that I say in stuff like that all the fucking time. All the time. It's my little crutch, like, phrase that I use when I don't know what else to say or when I'm trying to, like, string other thoughts together. Um, so, yeah, anyways, I woke up here, uh, and I'm becoming an old man, I've realized. Um, I've been wanting to reset my sleep schedule, and uh, the way I've been doing that is by falling asleep on my couch. Because if I try to, like, set a time to go to bed, I just put it off, put it off, put it off. And I've always been a night owl. I, like, that's always been me. I just, for whatever reason, don't like the idea of going to sleep. Also, the air conditioning just turned on, or the, the heat or whatever. So hopefully it's not anything super loud. The mic on here is actually really good from when I've done some test stuff with this. Uh, so all of this should be good. But anyways, without talking about the production side and more just what I'm doing here, uh, I wanted to vlog more. And this thing has kind of a neat fisheye which right now probably makes me look gross as shit. Who the fuck knows? I don't know. You guys are probably, you guys know what I look like, whatever. But this is what I look like in the morning. Um, it is currently 7 a.m. And I've been wasting time watching videos on YouTube to uh, hopefully go get a breakfast burrito because the, the place that, sorry, I was stretching, the place that, um, that has them doesn't open until 7 a.m. But I don't know if I want that or if I want like just some Starbucks and like a sandwich from there, because they're actually pretty good, but that's usually kind of what my breakfast is if I don't make it myself. I haven't made breakfast in a while uh, here, because my kitchen's been too messy. It's actually clean now, though. I cleaned it up. You can look at my place. Here's Malcolm, and I realize I'm probably never going to do a proper, like, uh, house tour, just because um, I don't know if I'm going to renew the lease here. Hi, Malcolm. <laughs> um... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to renew the lease here at this place, just because I kind of want to get a, a different place, just that's a little bit nicer. Not that this place is bad, but the neighborhood could be better. I was burgled once when I was uh, away at E3, the last E3. Whatever, happened a long time ago, don't feel bad about it. They didn't really take anything that couldn't be replaced, whatever. Malcolm is frustrated because he wants to go... He wants to go for a walk. But this is... Wow, I look weird. Um, the one thing is when you're in like, this part of the, the frame... It's kind of like, you know, makes your face look a little weird, but such is the nature of fisheye. So that's Malcolm. He's going to be showing up in these vlogs. Um, I'm probably going to take you guys with me. Uh, basically, I'm just vlogging this morning because I felt like it. Uh, so anyways, yeah, I'm an old man now. I wake up the last, I've woken up the last three days. <laughs> yesterday, yesterday was 4 a.m. Today is 5 a.m. So we're kind of slowly bumping it up. But I like it because I get more done, uh, more productive. Uh, and I'm not rushed. I feel like I can just kind of chill, have breakfast, have some coffee, whatever. Malcolm's here. He's just not going to leave this alone. So you're a part of the vlog now. You're committed. Anyways, uh, waking up early. Yeah, I get. <laughs> Why are you doing this? There, Malcolm. Just stay there. Just stay there. You're still in frame. I can still pet you. You're good. Anyways, um, I, I don't mind waking up uh, super earlier. But it's, like I've said, I've always, when I put it in my mind... Uh, to go to bed at a certain time, it just is hard for me to do it. So I've just been passing out and letting myself fall asleep on my couch, which is extremely comfy. If you can see this couch, like it's a very large couch, so it's very comfy. It's kind of like a bed. Uh, and then my TV's right there, which is, you know, where I watch my streams and stuff. Yes, it's a big TV. Um, I worked very hard to get that TV. 
but um, I don't know why I felt like I needed to say that. <laughs> like, don't judge me for having a nice big TV. So yeah, I'm gonna vlog more, is what all this really is, and I just woke up. I could have said that in a few sentences, a few words, but instead I drone on a lot. That's another thing about me vlogging. Maybe I'll get better with it, with time. I've done vlogging in the past. I never felt like I'm good at it, but I figure, in my mind, if you're invested in this, the personality that is me, I guess, uh, you probably maybe will be interested in learning more about my life. So maybe we'll vlog more. I think I'm gonna make sure this gets up just so I can say I did it. It's been a big thing with me too. I've been trying to get better at uh, being accountable, holding myself accountable for you know things that I wanna get done and staying up or staying up late and you know waking up super, super late doesn't help that. So we're gonna try to stay on this sort of old man-ish sleep schedule. Uh, and yeah, I think it's gonna affect everything nicely. So, let's go get some food. I might put this, I think I'm gonna try to film in the car. I don't know how that's gonna work, but don't worry, this thing has like a little stand on it, so I might be able to put this on my dash, and uh, we'll be gravy. Let's go get some food. I don't know if I'm gonna get a burrito or, or Starbucks, so. <laughs> we'll find out. Try as he might to stay motivated to be productive this day, his dog Malcolm laid on the couch, reminding him of the innocence of being lazy, and how wonderful it'd be to just lay down for a little bit longer. Malcolm, you're a bad influence. You're a bad influence on me. I need to get stuff done. I need to get stuff done, Malcolm. Do you understand that, Malcolm? Do you understand that? Do you understand food? Damn it. I thought he was going to perk up his, his head. Here, we're going to get him. Ready? You want something special? Oh, 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 I got you. you like, get it out of my face, Dad. Get it out of my face if you're not going to give me something. You, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Yeah. Oh, hello there. Totally put that camera there before I got into the car here. I actually was watching um, uh, Utoric 007, buddy of mine who's been vlogging recently uh, for his Huel or whatever. I guess it's some sort of like dietary something. I don't know. Jamie, if you're watching this, what is Huel? Tell me, but uh, he did that in his, and I'm like, yeah, I'll do that too. Little little movie magic. No, Malcolm's here in the back. Hey, what's up, buddy? He likes car rides. I used to like just leave him home when I was gonna go take like a quick, uh, you know, errand or run a quick errand somewhere, and uh, I decided it makes more sense for me to just bring him with. And I saw how excited he got, you know, when he was younger. Um, so he loves car rides now. Most dogs like car rides. It's raining out right now. Um, kind of just drizzling. But we're gonna go get some coffee from Starbucks. I like their breakfast sandwiches there. I don't know if this camera is going to stay there. Um, this is gonna be the first test. Actually, I'm just gonna hold the camera here while I go over this bump. Actually, let's see. This is the test, stress test. It's staying in place right now. Because I'm definitely not gonna hold a camera while I'm driving, but I have to drive a little more gingerly than I otherwise would um, because of the fact that this will fall down. It's not actually like being secured by anything. It's just kind of like by the nature of how the camera is It's kind of like flatter so it kind of stays in place better, but I really like this angle. It's really neat I don't know why but I've always found uh, Vlogs in cars like when someone's driving. I don't know what it is But it's something about like when you're driving and you have the camera there and your people are talking Even in like shows like Top Gear. It's part of the reason why I really like Top Gear Obviously, there's many other reasons why I like Top Gear. The UK one not the uh, not the yeah uh, bastardized American one. It's not good. It's not good. Maybe if Top Gear didn't exist in the UK and that was the first iteration of Top Gear in, in you know, America, maybe then it would be good, but when they have, like, you know, the cameras inside the car uh, and they're talking to it, I don't know, just the dash cam still, yeah, it's really cool. I like that. I like that sort of vibe of, uh, of vlogging or whatever. I gotta turn on um, this exhaust. It's a little foggy. Um, so, yeah. This is, uh, this is kind of typically what I do um, when I don't want to make breakfast, or like I said, my kitchen is uh, really dirty. It's not dirty right now, I just don't have the means to make uh, eggs or bacon or anything like that. Which is usually what I end up making for breakfast. Like some eggs, bacon, some toast, a little bit of chipotle Tabasco on there. How you doing back there, Malcolm? Doing good? Um, so we kind of cut that guy off a little bit, didn't mean to. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just, I, I end up going to Starbucks and I'm like that because they have pretty decent uh, breakfast sandwiches. And any of you naysayers out there are like, Starbucks is shit. Go to this indie hipster fucking coffee shop. Well, those are always going to be better. But Starbucks, the fact of the matter is, Starbucks are everywhere. Uh, I have 
I'm fortunate to have, uh, you know, income enough where I can go there and not have to worry about the coffee being more expensive than it ought to be. And if you go to Starbucks and you get regular coffee, you're doing it wrong. Like, get get some special shit. Get, like, a caramel macchiato or some shit like that. The camera's moving again. We're gonna adjust it. No big deal. No big deal. I've realized also while doing, uh, while doing this that I'm gonna have to get used to vlogging again. I used to be okay at it. I've never been good at vlogging. Um... But I've always been interested in doing them. It's talking in front of a camera, which I can do, but I tend to ramble a lot. <laughs> and, and I also, uh, what I meant to say is that uh, there's uh, there's lulls in, and I'm like, oh, what do I talk about now? Also, I'm driving right now, so I'm trying to focus on the road. But there's going to be a lot of cuts, probably. Not a lot, but there's going to be cuts. Whenever you see cuts, it's probably because Max fucked up and uh, didn't say anything, and there was dead air. We'll, we'll sort out, you know, what whatever the proper, um, whatever the best... <laughs> technique is for vlogging in the car, but I've always wanted to do that, the vlog in the car, the camera going and, and talking while driving. Something interesting about that. I don't know what it is. Whatever you think it might be, what do you think is most interesting? I know I'm not the only one that feels that way, but I've always thought it was really neat. Oh, there's a fucking line here in the drive through This is bullshit. Well, I guess we can talk to each other. There's a Marine in front of me. U.S. military. Military Corps. It's USMC, U.S. Marine Corps, but I said U.S. Military Corps, because I'm an idiot. I have never seen Starbucks this back up in a while. Maybe it's just the morning fucking, look at, look at that shit. There's a Chase Bank right there, too. Oh, Malcolm, how are you doing? How you doing back here, buddy? You doing good? Yeah? Oh, <gasps> puppy! No reaction. Malcolm! There you are. Hi. Hi, buddy boy. Oh, I want coffee and I need it real bad. All right. Well, this is what we're dealing with right now. It is 8.54, as you can see on my dash there. If you're wondering what car I drive, by the way, it's a Kia Forte, 2011, and it's silver. It's nothing special. Um, it was just a car that I got about, what, four years ago, something like that, just to get A to B kind of deal. I'm fixing this monitor thing so I can see myself. Yeah, nothing special, but it's what I'm working with. Um, probably going to get a new one pretty soon here. And this guy's now waiting for me. I know the line's fucking crazy, man. The line's crazy. People want coffee. All right, I'm gonna turn this off for now. Maybe I'll turn it on so you can see what I order. Won't that be exciting? All right, we're finally getting our coffee. Good morning, what can I get for you? All right, can I get a venti caramel macchiato with uh, an extra shot? Venti caramel macchiato with extra India? Um, also, do you have the spicy chorizo, um, sandwich? We do. Alright, I'll have one of those as well. Okay, so just one? Yeah, I'll take one. Okay. Anything else? Nope, that'll do it. Alright, see you at one, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You guys approve of my choices for the menu? I got a venti caramel macchiato with an extra shot. It's the hot one, sometimes I get an iced one. I don't know what I'm talking like that. Um, sometimes I get an iced one. If I am not feeling so hot. Or if I'm feeling hot enough. All right, thank you very much. Have a good one. Bye. She liked Malcolm. She liked Malcolm. Who doesn't like Malcolm? He's so handsome. Malcolm, you're so handsome. You're such a handsome. Oh my God, that sandwich smells so good. Ugh. I wish I was able to play music right now, but I'm a little paranoid about copyright. We're gonna hold the camera again here because we're making a slow turn. A slow turn. Hold on. Oh, I should probably roll up that window so rain doesn't get in the back. People are probably getting upset at me because I'm driving slowly. Not really, no one cares. Nobody cares. It's one of those things you realize too as you get older in life, um, that most of the things that you're self-conscious about, not most of them, some of them, you know, you should probably feel a little self-conscious about, maybe. But most of the things you think people are judging you on, like when you're like, oh, I'm going slow, like right there, I'm like, oh, I'm going slow because I'm trying not to, you know, knock down my camera with a sharp turn or something. Nobody really, notices that stuff <laughs> as much as you think like uh, like um, what's it called what am I trying to say here oh like yeah like you think your hair looks really bad or whatever um, most of the time you look fine to everybody else because the easiest way to, to think about it is to and apparently we're getting philosophical about life here um, is philosophical the right word I don't know we're just talking about life stuff uh, 
most of the, the, the easiest way to, and I'm losing my train of thought here, the easiest way to think about it is when you look at somebody else, like objectively, third person, you know, you judging somebody else or just like walking around your every day to day life, you don't really pick up, I mean, some of you do, some of you are, are assholes and pick apart people and judge them. <laughs> but most of the time, at least speaking personally, if I see somebody and their hair maybe is a little like disheveled or whatever, they may be thinking like, oh my God, I look like shit, my hair's horrible. And I'm just like, eh. you know, you know, I don't, I don't pay any crazy attention to that kind of stuff. And this isn't, and this is starting to sound like, oh, I don't, you know, I don't see through that lens. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is like a lot of the stuff that we um, get self-conscious about and stress about, especially when it comes to looks and pick our, and break ourselves down about, uh, it's not that big of a deal. It's not as big of a deal as we make it out to ourselves. And it's all relative. It's very easy to be like, well, it's not that big of a deal, but you know, you yourself are gonna be your worst critic. And I realize this more and more as I get older. Um, even the beginning of this video, when I was, uh, you know, on the couch, after I just woke up, I'm like, should I film this, should I not? I don't know. Because, um, you know, I, I obviously look worse there than I, I do when I'm, you know, like right now. Uh, I've had a shower, I've, you know, combed my beard, I've done my hair, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I wasn't, I wasn't sure if I was gonna put it in the video, but I'm pretty sure, I mean, you've seen it at this point, I'm gonna put it in there regardless. Uh, because I think that's, you know, you guys know what I look like ultimately, and we all kind of know that most people look a little rough around the edges in the morning. We don't all look perfect. We don't all wake up with uh, perfect makeup, unless you're a girl and you forgot to take your makeup off, in which case, shame on you. That's why you feel so gross right now, Cindy. Remember to use your makeup cloths before you go to bed. <laughs> That's, I guess, uh, the lesson for today. Lesson. <laughs> As if I'm qualified to be giving out life lessons. No, that's just kind of my little tip or advice. Not that that's gonna be a recurring theme. Do not watch my videos for life advice. I mean, if you want to, go for it. But recognize that I'm just sharing what I've kind of found out living here. So anyways, um, I think that's actually probably gonna wrap up the video. I don't really, uh, I don't really have, you know what, no. I'm gonna, we're gonna go inside and we'll check out the sandwich and uh, I don't want to show you my garage. It's way too dirty. I do park my car in a garage. So good luck trying to steal it if you're watching this and you're like, oh, he's got a Kia Forte, I'm gonna find it. Um, also, why are you stealing a Kia Forte? It's nothing remarkable. Uh, I'll see you guys inside in a second and then we'll wrap this bitch up. A little morning vlog for you guys. Hope you enjoy it. See you inside. All right, so we're back inside. This is my kitchen. I'm not gonna show you everything. That's, so this is what's neat about the fish eyes. Like you can see my kitchen which is not very, admittedly, not very big. Also, if you're wondering what that is, that's a microwave, and that is a dishwasher uh, that is on, like, a, you know, serving a steel, a stainless steel, like, serving kind of, like, storage thing. Because uh, the kitchen's not very big. I don't have a dishwasher, so I bought one. You can buy those little portable dishwashers, um, and that's hooked up to my sink and stuff like that, and that's how I do my dishes. Anyways, now you know what that stuff is in the back. And, but what I was saying was, is you can see, like, part of my living room over there. You can see my kitchen right here. It's kind of cool. I like the fisheye. So let's finish this bitch up. That's what the sandwich looks like, okay? That's what it looks like right there. Um, that's a Darth Vader water bottle. I don't know why I'm getting uh, too distracted by the things in the background. Spicy chorizo, Monterey chicken, Jack, whatever. Let's just fucking eat it. Ugh. I like I'm being sponsored by Starbucks. Although that would be amazing. It's never gonna happen, but that would be amazing. Let's see what it's like. That's pretty fucking good. I'm, again, I'm not sponsored by Starbucks. I wish. I've never had this before. Not bad. I would recommend it. Go get it. Use the promo code GASSYMEXICAN when you check out. All right, I'm done. This, uh, this vlog is getting stupid and silly and ridiculous. Malcolm, do you have anything more to say? Do you have anything more to say to the people? Huh? Malcolm. Say goodbye. Goodbye. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh.